here we go. Let's take a look at um, – Gerald's got the video run. Let's go crude first, Gerald, if you can. What we want to do is we're going to look at uh, yesterday's trading a little bit. Um, when you're in the trading room, you saw these signals fire off on yesterday. Uh, um, and what signals are the best ones to take and which ones, the ones this morning that uh, we're on a corrective wave coming up, which ones are the best ones to look at uh, versus the ones that uh, you want to just stand aside? Um, if you look at uh, the time frame, first of all, I have a large time frame. It's not a small time frame. So this is catching the big swings. It's a 9 sim Renko that I'm looking at here. Um, if I go back and I take a look at – What we're looking at with the signals wise, all these signals over the past month since uh, 6, what is it, 623 to 724, around 80% accuracy is what you're looking at as far as just these signals by themselves. If you're just taking a look at what, when the arrow printed, it's target one, which is 15 ticks, and target two, um, which I have it. Uh, really long and then I have a trail a big trail on this also so that's just this time frame by itself I mean this is this time frame all the nine sim Renko so the accuracy is pretty uh, uh, pretty nice off this time frame but you want to filter the trades um, when these arrows fire you can actually filter them to manually trade these these uh, these arrows meaning if you could see when a signal comes up, a buy, a short signal, or a short signal over here that happened this morning, market delta should follow you up, meaning once these fire, you should see market delta firing with you and the same uh, um, on all these trade setups. So if I go past the th past three days, you notice that once you get through um, the longer MA and the two smaller MAs cross over, that first retracement is probably a pretty good one if it's going in the direction of the trend. And that's what happened uh, on this big move up here, big move down here. Hasn't happened yet this morning, but I'm looking for one this morning to happen also. I'm looking for a retracement, uh, uh, retracement of HVA this morning for a long. But as far as the system goes, I'm looking for a retracement now to look for a long side setup off this time frame. So what I would do if you're trying to get used to what the algo is trying to pick, you know, the accuracy from just this signals based upon my target one, target two, and my trail that I put in, um, all the trades that it's taken is right around 80%. So knowing that, you can cherry pick your trades with market delta to make sure that if you get into, let's say it says short, see it says short here, it had one, um, one reversal bar, I mean it said to short, but market delta turned green right away on both these signals. So where if you look at these, this signal, you had market delta all the way red, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. So you really want to use market delta to make sure they're marking the market up or marking the market down after a signal fires off. And that's one thing that uh, um, we'll really go over in the upcoming conference calls um, is that market delta should follow you up. Um, you want to make sure, go, go over to gold real quick, Gerald, S switch over to gold. If you look at gold's trading this morning uh, on the 25th here, um, Gerald, switch over to gold if you can, man. Let's wait till Gerald switches over. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Switch over. Gerald, can you hear me, man? Hey, can everybody hear me okay, by the way? Just give me a while if you can hear me. I want to make sure I didn't lose my connection to you. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, uh, Gerald, switch over to gold. All right, we're going to switch over to gold real quick. I want to show you what I'm talking about. I want to make sure Gerald's with me. Gerald, are you over to gold yet, bud? Okay. So if you look at gold, you notice uh, one of the top signals that I get with the system um, is when you first cross through the longer MA, and your shorter MA and also your intermediate MA crosses up. This first retracement, I'm going to go over this a lot uh, in the future conference calls. This first retracement on all markets tends to be the big one. 
and it happened here on gold and it happened on crude also on that second retracement yesterday and I'm looking for a retracement on crude this morning like this also if you get that first retracement I mean that first uh, where well you get the smaller MA intermediate punching through the longer MA that first retracement gives you a signal you get positive market Delta it tends to be the largest runner so gold it happened this morning here um, your second retracement this is a motive wave uh, three wave and a five wave long and then it had two more signals so right now it's on two for I'm sorry it's um yeah three for four this morning since uh, this morning session based upon getting through the longer MA and looking for that first retracement so we haven't not had that on crude this morning yet but now it finally punched through so I'm looking for a retracement on crude and that could possibly happen on crude as we speak but right when you break through that first retracement tends to be the big one um, here on gold again if you see the, the first one it crosses through with trend that's your biggest three biggest five wave and so you can match these up um, when you cross down through first big wave tends to be the big one once you get through the small I mean through the larger MA so what you can do then is you can help yourself out by looking at market Delta to guide you when these signals fire off now th this is a long time frame when you get this on your own system you can choose any time frame you really want you can go back to crude zero if you can you can choose any time frame that you want it doesn't have to be that exact time frame in fact if you look at um, on this right next to it I typically have a five sim I put a seven on there so you can see how it trades a little longer time frame but once again um, this is where you can get uh, signals off of a smaller time frame instead of a nine this is a seven it's around 78 percent over the last month um, just based upon all the signals together and this is looking at a seven Simrico instead of a nine so you can keep going down to smaller charts for signals if you want based upon your desired entry on um, as far as uh, your target one target two and also your time frame so you can see that we had a nice little launch here you broke out of HVA why do we use market profile you broke out of HVA retested HVA the best time to really look at the system on this on these setups also is when you get through market profile that break retest the market profile this set up that huge short when the system said short that started the whole short yesterday that confluence so how we use market profile with it is you can see when you get confluence it didn't line up here this morning but it lined up yesterday we should have a buy a buy signal would have been nice right at that breakout retest HVA that's dual confluence and right here breakdown retest low value area so these are the two biggest spots to look to see if the algo is picking the same spots to get long or short that you normally look for this is what you want to look for this is going to be your biggest our largest potential runners once you break outside of HV and LVA if you're in the middle of HV and LVA see here's another one your break retest we have the algo fired along right there that's a great one it broke inside of HVA and retested algo fired a short right there algo fired a short right here this is how you can marry things up meaning what I like to do if you're manually looking at this is here's one actually fired one here broke inside of HVA too and retested you see what you want to do is and we'll go over this in the conference calls you want to break out inside and outside a market profile this is volume profile is a thick red blue, green and blue line and if it retests that level and you get a signal that fires then that's going to be your highest probability signal so when you break back inside of these levels the same way and you retest any time frame that you trade whether it be long or short time frame and you go all the way down to three all the way up to nine sim on any market these are your best signals you want to get inside the control point here you want to see it fire at those levels also so we want to what we want to try to do is we want to match up when the algo fires trades based upon breaking inside or outside of HVA in the direction of the move and that's something that uh, that you can match up yourself when you're looking for these setups 
So what we want to do today is on crude is I want to see a long side setup. So I'd like to see a retracement on crude, and then I'd like to see a actually buy signal come in on the retracement when it hits HVA. And that's something that, uh, that you'll, you'll see that happens over and over again in these markets. Now, what you can do also is you can see that market delta is going to be your friend and guiding you on these trades. If I get a long signal on coming up on crude, you can see I have negative market delta, three negative market deltas right now. If I get a long signal on crude with the positive market delta, if it turns back negative right away, then you know that you got to possibly got a retracement coming, that a deeper retracement is coming in the market. So the signals by themselves are accurate enough on a longer time frame where you can look at them based upon trend only, but it's really nice when market delta is lined up with them. And that's what you want to do. You want to see when market delta retraces, you'd like to see, I mean, when you, the market retraces, you'd like to see market delta confirm your entry on them. Okay? So I have a 9 sim 7 and then a 3 sim here on crude for you guys to watch. And the best way to do it is watch the signals as they trade and, you know, get used to the system. This is an add-on to the overall system that we have. Um, you, can, you can do all the back testing with it that you want uh, with any time frame. Um, like I said, these are longer time frames, so they're, they're, um, you won't get a ton and ton of signals. But if you want even less signals, you can actually go to a real small, I mean, a larger time frame even larger than that, and you'll get less swings in the market.